What's happening, Trap Squad? In this video, we're gonna go over all the content and events coming to Pokemon Go in the month of October. We have some exciting Pokemon, Mega Gengar is on its way, and some new shinies, cool spotlight hours, and rotating raids again. So stay tuned to find out about that. Also in this video, I'll be posting the giveaway winner and letting you guys know which one of you won all those Poke Coins. So stay tuned, let's get it. Also, comment below, what do you guys think of that new intro? Again, I shortened my name and made it easier for people to find on YouTube when they search it. So it's Trapix Gaming now. But comment below, do you guys like the intro? Is it cool? Let me know. And up next is the live recording of me on Twitch of the winner. So check it out and see if you want some Pokecoins. What's up, Trap Squad? We are back with another giveaway. One of you guys that commented on that video is going to get a chance to win this gift card. It's $25, so that's a lot of Pokecoins. It's $25, so that's a lot of Pokecoins. I can like hear myself, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's mute myself on Twitch, Just making sure it works. And I'm here again with my friend uh, Caveman. Caveman, you there? Yep, I'm here. What's up, guys? There we go. Again, we're giving out this Poke card. We'll make it quick, fast. You know, it'll be on stream. And good luck to all of you guys. So we're here on the website against commentpicker.com. It picks a random comment from a video. So you copy the URL. Uh, guidelines are here. I filter out duplicate users. So everyone gets one entry per uh, per ticket. Um, replies to comments. No, because that's going to be like an original post. And filter comments with a specific text. No extra entries. So no one excluded. So what you do is get YouTube comments. You click. Pick, click here so there's uniquely 28 comments I won't count caveman won't count you know so if he gets it we have to do a reroll sorry caveman maybe next time it's all good man <laughs> and here we go here we go who is the lucky winner of this pokecoin card right here um one two three it's going it's going and congrats to FR19 Inferno, dude, congratulations. I actually know who they are. They're, look what he commented. He literally just put a smiley face. I, I he, he is very, uh, what's the word, active on my post. He comments a lot. I know that. So FR19 Inferno, congratulations, bro. I'll be reaching out to you. I'll give you this gift card. I'll give you the code. Put it into your uh, Play Store, and you'll have a lot of Pokecoins to work with. Once again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Um like the videos as well and i'll be doing a lot more giveaways you know again i want to give back as appreciation and you know help me out I'm almost at a thousand subscribers so once again thank you guys for stopping by till next time and once again congratulations f419 inferno as you can see all he did was comment a smiley face and that's how you enter you have to subscribe and you had to comment anything on that video and congratulations to you he won 25 dollars worth of pokey coins he claimed it already and you know i told him hey leave a shout out leave a comment that you want people to know about the channel or you know and this is what he said see if you subscribe your next legendary raid will be shiny so again don't forget subscribe to the channel i'm almost at a thousand i really appreciate it if you guys help me get there and i'm still doing the countdown on the board as of now i'm at 127 and you know i'm super excited we're almost at our goal and you know i love putting out this content and making great videos for you guys and in last week's video i did something different i did a pokemon card opening you know these cool tins uh i'm still gonna open this one up in the future but the other two are back here on the shelves and you know we got some decent cards again i don't know anything about the newer pokemon or pokemon cards so check that out it's up here in the eye and now let's get into the october events for pokemon go october is full of cool events for pokemon go in the past i know we all look forward to the halloween event you know seeing ghost pokemon everywhere and the new shinies are also exciting and they also have this like random event just because the Pokemon company in Longchamps Paris had like this collab where there's gonna be different Pokemons in eggs, raids, and in the wild wearing different costumes. This event is gonna run from October 2nd to October 8th and it's called the New Collaboration Celebration. And you get a chance to hatch Smoochum from 7k eggs with the bow tie on its head, uh, Corellia with a top hat, and it's gonna know the move Draining Kiss. Um, Krogink wearing a backwards cap will appear, you know, when you take pictures like Snapchats and in the wild. And honestly, the one I'm looking forward to is Chinx wearing a top hat. This is exciting. Every game I play, 
in the past, you know, from RuneScape to Among Us, everything that has a top hat, I was wearing that. I was like, right, give me the top hat, let's get it. So I will be going for that and hopefully a shiny. There will also be some random Pokemon appearing in the wild for that week. And we're going to have Mareep, Skitty, Rosalia, Cricketot, Krogank wearing a backwards cap, Blitzel, Katoni, Mancino, and Gothita. Uh, and it says here there's more. And I feel like all these Pokemon in a way are like stylish. Um, I can kind of see it right. They're... I don't know why they picked those Pokemon to be honest, but hey, it's cool. And it says here, if you're lucky, you might encounter the new shiny, shiny Cricketot. Um, I'm guessing its evolution kind of looks fancy because of the collab. I don't know, man. It's just, it's cool. I know it's not the it's not the worst, but there will also be new gear in the shop for you to buy with this collab. And as long as I'm getting shinies, I mean, none of these are generation one shinies, so it's not too exciting. And I have most of these, but. Shinx with the top hat. That's definitely what I want. So October has a lot of exciting events coming up. Uh, the field research is going to be Sher Ninja. Um, Alola Raichu at least had a shiny potential, even though I never get it. But if you don't have Sher Ninja, I guess this is the way to go for you. Um, there will also be the collab event. There will also be a special Meowth research event on the 10th of October as well. And a week after the 17th is Charmander Community Day. A lot of us already had it, but with the new move, a new shiny, so I'm sure a lot of us will be aiming for a shiny high IV to mega evolve, you know, and have that cool new move. It also says here, Niantic's anniversary event is coming, changing of seasons, more details. This is kind of exciting, and there's also a special raid boss on October 23rd, but they're not saying who it is. Like, I feel like they're going to release a whole new Pokemon here. And if you think you know who it is, comment below. You know, any, any new ghost type that maybe we haven't seen that could be a legendary. I'm excited for that. A new Pokemon is always exciting. And I know they have some left to release from previous seasons. So let's see if they do that. Once again, this month, we're having rotating Pokemon in rates. And Zapdos will continue from last week to this week. And then we get Moltres from October 2nd to the 9th. And then from October 9th to the 23rd, we're going to get original form Giratina with a new shiny. He looks exactly like the old one, but everyone knows he's a beast in the battle league. He's a beast if you're fighting Team Rocket. If you're struggling with anyone in Pokemon Go, just get a strong, powered up legendary like Giratina, the original, even you know, Kyogre. It doesn't matter, and you're going to be able to beat everybody. It's super simple. And for the spotlight hours, we're going to have... Pikachu with this world cap and you'll get two times XP for catching any Pokemon in the wild uh, and a shiny variation of him. You'll also get Pikachu with the original hat the week after and you get double candy for catching on that one. On October 20th you're gonna have Shuppet with double candy for transferring so save your Pokemon that you want to transfer extra candy for for that day or that hour and he also could be shiny and on October 27th we get Duskull with also a shiny variation and double XP for evolving. Ghost type, as you know, are very hard to come around and I only have one shiny Shuppet. I don't have, you know, his second evolution or a Duskull. So I'll be going for those because, you know, they come around literally like one month per year. And that's it for October events. Once again, guys, thank you for stopping by Trapix Gaming. Uh, this is an overview of the month. You know, I will try to do weekly updates in more detail or strategies on how to maximize, you know, your Pokemon Go playing time. But if you haven't had a chance, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Once again, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate everyone that has subscribed, that is subscribing, you know, and liking my videos. I mean, again, I remember you guys and I will be doing a lot more giveaways in the future. It's just my appreciation to you guys for subscribing, you know, and following along the content every week. I also have more surprises along the way. And I love the fact that the channel is growing and, you know, I want to interact with you guys more. If you guys want to play Among Us again, comment below. We play like every day. It's really fun. I want to get to know my community. And, you know, if you guys have ideas on videos or things you guys want to know about, let me know and I'll help you guys out. I know someone asked me in my previous video. Like, how do you see how much the Pokemon card is worth, right? And I'll be putting it out in a future video, but I can tell you, like, if you go to eBay, look up the card, and, like, at the bottom left, just click on sold, right? And you can see what people are paying for the card. It's not exactly what it's worth, but what people are paying for. You can also go to tgcplayer.com, I believe, and there, when you can look up a card, it'll give you a list of websites and what they're selling them for, right? Again, they could be overpriced or not, who knows? But it's better to go on eBay and just see what people are actually paying for the cards live. 
And once again, thank you Trap Squad for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time.